Hello, this is DreamlineStudio.com and what we're going to do is show you how to upload a Flash website or any other website uh, for that matter. Um, there's tons of ways on how to upload a website. I'm going to show you my method which is, uh, I would say it's an easy method. So we're going to start from um, from you already completing a website and at this point what you want to do is upload it. Um, a couple things before we get to that. Um, you'll need a do, uh, you'll need a domain name. And you'll need hosting. So if you haven't got those two things yet, you'll need to do it. A uh, couple uh, hosting companies I recommend is um, is ours, which is xisn.com. Uh, again, xisn.com or bluehost.com uh, is a, is a really good hosting company. So I'm going to assume that you have. Um, hosting and a uh, domain name and you're ready to rock so alright so here's a flash website that you want to publish and um, at this point you wanna save this project um, somewhere so what I'm gonna do is um, I am going to first of all create a new folder on my desktop and I'm going to save my project onto that folder and I will name this um, website okay now um, my FLA is a uh, saved into the uh, website folder and now I'm ready to publish into that folder so the next step is go to file publish preview and I'm not sure if you can see that file publish preview HTML because what you need is you need a HTML document with the embedded SWF and this is going to do it for you. So it's publishing. Okay, it's done publishing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our website folder that we've created on our desktop. And you're going to see that Flash already built, already created um, objects for you. So you're actually, um, the two files that you'll need to upload is both the SWF file and the, um, the HTML. You do not need to upload these two. Okay. Now let's edit this HTML document in Notepad, and I'll tell you why in a second. The desktop um, website. Go to. Um, see all files make sure all files by default um, notepad doesn't uh, search for HTML so um, just go to uh, all files on file uh, files of type and select um, website .html. okay you're gonna see a lot of this <clears throat> now what I would recommend is just um, you're going to see your title tag. Okay. Um, what I recommend is give it a proper title. You know, so if you're running a, uh, if you have a shoe, a shoe company, um, we sell the best shoes in the world. Blah blah blah. Give it a proper title tag. Okay. Also, what we want to do is we want to rename this and this is very important we want to rename this HTML uh, web page to index.html so we're gonna go file save as index.html and save it okay we're gonna close this out now we have a index.html and we have um, 
You can go ahead and keep that, but the main two files that we need to be concerned with is the index and the SWF. Now, here comes the uplo uploading process. What I use is a program called Qt FTP. You can Google that. Um, there's also some other free um, um, FTP programs. For example, uh, Smart FTP is a pretty good um, free FTP program. And the basis of this really is um, uh, whatever FTP program you have, it's going to have a, a section where you can add your information. So for Qt FTP, it's the third icon all over. And at this point, um, you can enter in your label. And your host address is always going to be uh, FTP dot whatever your website is, your website uh, dot com. Uh, when you get your hosting, your hosting company will provide you with your username and password. And you will put it here and here and then connect. When you connect, you're going to see a structure similar to this. Similar to this. Okay, you're going to see logs, public FTP. What you want to do is you want to click on uh, your www folder. Okay, once you do that, um, what you want to do is click and drag two files. Okay, you want to click and drag your index and website.swf into that folder. So your uh, again your hosting structure will have um, www. Um, double click on that, and then um, from the desktop folder of website, uh, your website. Just click uh, and drag the two um, the two files over. Uh, that's pretty much it. Then when you log on to your website, uh, whatever your website is dot com, um, it will show up. But it's very important that you have um, the index um, file and your flat or your SWF file both in the same directory. Now some people just upload the SWF which is a really bad idea. Uh, what happens is that um, the whole screen takes up the flash and what that does is that it it, um, it pixelizes everything. So you don't want to do that. You want to embed this in here. And um, really quick overview how you do that. When you're done with the website go to file uh, publish preview HTML that's the ticket for you publishing a website and everything's embedded and everything's good to go so hopefully this helped you out uh, if you have any questions just leave me a comment um, thank you and uh, enjoy